Are you ready to see your room your way? Welcome to My Room, My Way, where we make dreams come true one room at a time. Today, we are going to make over Lee's room. So let's go meet her, come on. Hi, I'm Lee, I'm eight years old. I like to skate, I like to read, and I like to play outside. Well, this is my room. Lee's going to give us the rundown on her room so we know exactly what we need to do. Awesome, Lee, hey. give me a tour. Sure. This is my ginormous bookshelf. You have a lot of books. Yeah, it takes away some of the space. Some of these are really, really special to me and my mom. But a lot of these books, they haven't been reading. Like, these bad jokes <laughs> for babies. So what's this? It's my plushy bean bag. And it's very important to me to have a special space to put them in. This is my dresser. It's beautiful and it's very organized, I guess. And this is my favorite music box. Okay, so what don't you like in your room? I kind of want to get rid of this. Get rid of this because it isn't really working and give away a few of these toys I outgrown. So what else don't you like? This really old and collecting dust. So if you could have your dream room, what would it look like? The walls would be lined with trees and little critters. The ground would be grass. Everything would just be so mystical and beautiful. I love that, you really have a vision. So, before I take off to make your room your way, I want to recruit a helper. So who knows you best? My friend, Millie. Hi, I'm Millie. I'm seven years old and I'm best friends with Lee. We like to have picnics together, play outside together, and draw together. Okay, Lee, now that I have some help, you can go ahead and take off and we'll get to work. Okay, I'm depending on you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Awesome. Bye. Let's do this, you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, so the clock is ticking. Can I hear your ideas? She likes the color yellow, so maybe some yellow walls. She also likes butterflies, so maybe some butterflies on the wall, and she likes to read. So maybe a little reading space. I feel like we're missing a big wow moment. What do you think we could add to really make her jaw drop? How about a magical treehouse loft bed? Okay, Lee's not the only one with a great imagination. I have plenty to finish my designs. Lee wants a mystical forest bedroom. So first, we're gonna paint the walls her favorite color, hand paint some trees, and add Millie's butterflies. Lee wanted to keep her dresser, so we'll add some flowers to really make it pop. Next, we'll get rid of the giant bookcase, replace it with two slimmer ones, and add a beanbag reading space in the center of the room. Millie's idea for the treehouse loft was next level, so we'll add vines, fairy lights, and a place for her plushies to make it truly magical. So I loved your ideas about the butterflies. So I came up with this really cool DIY where we're going to make these colorful, glittery butterflies and we're going to add them all over the room to add to the mystical forest. Are you ready? Yep. So you're going to take your piece of paper, fold it in half, trace just one half of the mm -hmm. butterfly wing. Then you take your pair of scissors and you just cut out your butterfly wing. Open it up. Now we're going to add glitter to it. So you're gonna take your glitter glue and you're going to dab a little bit of glitter all around yeah. with your paintbrush. Spread the glitter glue. Done. Awesome. Now let's hurry, because we have all of these to make. Let's do this. like they belong inside of a storybook. Right now, they belong in Lee's room because we have so much more work to do before she gets home. Oh. <laughs> it was just getting good. Lee gave us a tall order for her magical forest bedroom. She wanted us to clear out all her baby toys, add trees to the walls, have a place for her plushies, and organize her books. Time to find out if we pulled it off. Are you ready to see your room your way? I have goosebumps. Ah! 
Lee's room was cluttered and packed with books. And now it's transformed into the magical forest of her dreams. I heard that. Tree house, it's so cool. Butterflies in the window. Oh, under area. And I love this little lamb. Look at all the little characters in the picture. <laughs> oh, the rug. Oh, you put some flowers on it. That's so cute. And yes, they hit my music box. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love it so much. And I couldn't have done it without Millie. Um, the, the DIY butterflies. And what else was your idea? The tree house bed and the reading place and the yellow walls. You got it down. Ooh, you're welcome. <laughs> I know that your books are very important to you and your mom. So we got all of your books right here. Yay! And we have a little place to read and you can have a tea party. There's something in the bean bag. It's Miss Hedges! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me, what is your favorite thing? Everything. Butterflies, the bookshelf, the bed, the tea party, and this cute flower, and the unicorn. You guys are the best! Oh. <laughs> it's so sandwich! <laughs>Hope you enjoyed Lee's Mystical Forest. Looks like this storybook room had a happy ending. See you next time on My Room, My Way. Bye, everyone. 